chapter 7 of uh, Hebrews tonight, Hebrews chapter 7, and it's got a few different topics in here, it's really good, uh, I read over it several times today trying to really wrap my mind around it, and I hope you studied over it a little bit this week. So let's just jump right in, let's t- it, start, it starts off with Melchizedek, and uh, in the Word of God, when we read about Melchizedek, it didn't give us a whole lot about him. You know, it's, it's only several scriptures or several verses that Melchizedek is in. So we have no we have no background on him, except for what's really shown here in Hebrews. I mean, there's a few places, but uh, he really kind of explains it tonight, and we're gonna we're gonna talk about that just for a minute. All right, so verse one. For this Melchizedek, king of Salem. Now Salem is Jerusalem. Okay? So that's what it is, the ancient Jerusalem. At least that's what the scholars say. Okay? So we're going to see some similarities here because he's a shadow of Jesus, right? So we're going to see the similarities in his priesthood and kingship the same as Jesus. Alright? So Melchizedek, king of Salem priest of the Most High God, who met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the kings and blessed him. So, we have here, Melchizedek is a king. He's the king of Jerusalem. And then if we parallel that with Jesus, Jesus is the Messiah, and he's going to come back, and he will rule and reign from Jerusalem. Amen. 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 The most holy city there ever was, there ever will be. He will set up his kingdom there and he will rule and reign from there. And then it says he's the priest of the Most High God. And that's the same for Jesus tonight because he is the priest of the Most High God. Amen. Amen. He sent his son to die for us. He was a holy sacrifice. He went to the cross and he bore it for our sins. Hallelujah. And then he ascended into heaven as our high priest of the one and only true living God. Amen. So we know that that's a parallel then. And it says that he met Abraham and blessed him. All right, and I want you to look at that too because God blessed Abraham with a promise. And not only a promise, but seed. Amen. He he blessed him with a new way of living. All right, and I wanted to bring that out to you tonight that that Jesus, God, amen, blessed Abraham with a promise and a new way of living. Amen. He brought him out of the land that he was in, took him into the promised land. It wasn't always easy. It wasn't always clear. Amen. Amen. That's right. But he gave him a new way of living. Now, to parallel that with our time, he brought us out. Come on, y'all. Right. He's our high priest, and he give us a new way of living. Amen. 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 So glory be to God. Amen. So he blessed Abraham, okay? To whom also Abraham gave a tenth part of all, first being by interpretation king of righteousness, and after that also king of Salem, which is a king of peace. So we have king of righteousness. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Jesus is righteous. Hallelujah. He's holy. And his blood applied to us tonight is counted for righteousness. So when he looks down on us, when he looks down on you, he doesn't see the old. He doesn't see the sin. He sees the blood of Jesus Christ that atones for all sin. And it says that he washed it all away. Okay, and then we, we talked about the king of Salem. And then it says the king of peace. 
and we know that Jesus is the King of Peace. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. So we see these parallels here. We see how he was the King of Salem. Amen. We see how he was the King who blessed Abraham. That's right. We see how he was also a priest. Amen. A king and a priest, and that's all paralleling with Jesus. And he is the King of Peace. Amen. So glory be to God. You're not going to have peace without Jesus. That's right. Amen. You know, you might try to numb yourself with different avenues of the world. Amen. Whatever that looks like. Amen. We could go into that, but I'm not going to do it tonight. People numb themselves in many different ways, right? But they never have that fullness of joy or peace because Jesus is absent in the picture. And when we bring Jesus into the picture, into our life, into our whole being, amen, amen. then we can have peace. That's right. Even though things may not be clear, yeah. all right? Amen. Even right. though there may be some things happening around That's us, right. amen, amen. Yeah. that hurts, we can still have peace yeah. in the hard times. Yes. Amen. You want to say you know, something? You can have, you can, if you're living in the world, you can have what seems to be like peace. But you don't know the real peace until you come and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Uh, and really. He comes in and gives you that real deep down kind right. of peace. Amen. That right. joy Amen. that you would have Amen. nowhere else. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. See, I can smile when everybody else is crying. That's right. Why? Glory. Because I have Amen. Jesus. Yes. Amen. Amen. Glory. All right, so let's, let's keep moving in. It's giving us a little more background on or telling us how he doesn't have a background and they parallel too without father without mother without descent having neither beginning of days nor end of life but made like unto the son of God abideth a priest continually so here we see that there's no record of Melchizedek's father his mother or even his death all that we know is he was a righteous man. Mm -hmm. He was a man of God, the true God. Amen? Amen. Amen? And that he was parallel to what Jesus was to become. Mm -hmm. Amen? So we see that here. And you know, Jesus, he didn't have a father. He, he was formed by the Holy Ghost. Amen? Amen. Amen. Conceived by the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And then it says, Abideth a priest continually. And that's kind of showing, you know, Jesus is always our priest and will always be our priest because he never dies. Amen. He came in the flesh. He was living before. Then he was living on earth and he's living now. That's right. Amen. Amen. So even in death, he was alive. He yes. went into hell. Come Amen. on. Amen. Took the keys. Yes. And then he ascended yes, he into heaven. Yes. Hallelujah. And tonight he is our priest continually. Amen. And that's what it's kind of showing Amen. here. So we know that Melchizedek had no pedigree. Amen. And it also shows us that, that God had a man aside from Abraham. Amen. We always think or always are led to believe that God only come through for Abraham and the Israelites and all of that. But God was showing himself to other people. Amen. Amen. Come on, y'all. If, right. if he showed himself to Moses and all the all the ones before, who are we to say that he wasn't showing up to other men? Amen. 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 If uh, if if Melchizedek was a priest of the Most High God, who was he preaching to? That's right. You see what I'm saying? Right. So there was yeah. other believers in the Most uh, True God, only True God. Amen. Right. Does that make sense to y'all? Yes. Yeah. So I wanted to bring that out tonight. You know, we always think about the the patriarchs, right? Mm -hmm. But there was others, y'all. That's right. I and mean, I want you to know that God's always got a man. Yes, yeah, he does. Does. He's always got a man. He's always got a woman. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. No matter what the situation, Amen. the man of God will show up and bless you sometimes. Yeah. Amen. Yes, Melchizedek just popped up out of nowhere and said, Hey, Abraham. I bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. And we read that he brought wine and bread and broke communion with mm -hmm. him. And that's what that's we right. learned when Susan taught us about Melchizedek. Amen? Right. 
And that was foreshadowing Jesus. That's right. Yes. Glory be to God. And he was also, Abraham, uh, was the first mention of tithing. Amen. He, you know, so, um, he, you know, he was tithing where he was fed. So, much, you know, it wasn't like it was a one and done deal with him. Amen. That's who he was um, hearing about God from, if that's who he tithed to. That's right. And we're getting ready to, to jump into that tithing because the next few scriptures are about tithes and i wanted you to see right there in verse two since she brought that up it says that abraham gave a tenth part of all Amen. Mm -hmm. you know we always think that we need to tithe our our funds our financially which we do amen mm -hmm. we should tithe a tenth of our finances to the house of god amen mm -hmm. to keep things running because look the lights don't come on by themselves amen right, amen. right? right. glory be to god but he gave a tenth part of all. I think he gave raiment, clothes. Yes. Amen. I think he gives substance. Amen. Amen. Probably gold, yes. silver, mm -hmm. animals. That's he right. gave all of yes. the tenth to the man of God. Amen. And in in return, he was blessed. Yes. And the priest was blessed. Mm -hmm. And I want y'all to see something else. Melchizedek was a king. I want you to know that he didn't need Abraham's funds. That's right. Amen. Amen. And I want you to know tonight that God doesn't need right. your funds, but it's obedience. Amen. Yes. Amen. Susan always says it's a way of worship mm -hmm. to Amen. make tithe. That's Amen. Right. And that's true. You know, when we are obedient to God with Amen. our tithes, with our time, yes. with our 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 care. Amen. Amen. That shows that we care. That's right. We care about the church, about His people, about the men and women of God who are standing to preach the Word of God. Amen? Amen. So I want you to think about that tonight. It's not always your funds. That's right. You can tithe other things. You tithe your time, your Amen. clothes. You know, you can tithe all kinds of different things. Amen? You know, if, if He had gave from, his, from what He owned as a king, like to the poor or whoever was in need, right? Then he would have gotten the glory for that. Amen. But those who tithed, tithed to him as a priest, then he was able to do it in the name of God. Amen. And so then God got the glory for that. All the That's glory. why the church should be the one that should be able to bless the poor and take care of the poor. That way God will be glorified in it all instead of our government or Amen. whoever else that does all that. That's right. That's why tithing is important. It's very important. You know, tithing, the word says it's like putting your money in a in a bag with a hole in it, right? If you don't. That's right. It brings a blessing on your family, but Amen. if you don't, it also brings a curse. Yes, it does. Right? It says that the devourer will come. He's going to eat up all your substance. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Like a hungry teenager in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You know, you got all the baloney and stuff in there. You done come home from work, and a teenager been in there watching cartoons with his feet up, and then ate up all the stuff out the refrigerator. Amen? So when you think of it like that, you know, come on, y'all. Come on, church. Amen? All right, let's jump into verse 4 here. Now consider how great this man was unto whom even the patriarch Abraham gave the tenth of the spools. So imagine the, the respect that Abraham had for this man of God. Because as far as we know, Abraham had never, he had never met another man who was serving God the Father. Amen? As far as we know, right? Yes, sir. And then... He shows up and blesses Abraham with bread and wine and I'm sure prayed and imparted a blessing over him and the respect that he had and uh, it says to consider how great this man was to whom even the patriarch gave the tenth of the spoils and I want you to think about how great it is to come to the house of God Amen. Amen. you know what I'm saying we come in on Wednesday, we come in on Sundays, and we get blessed, y'all. Yes, we, we get blessed. Every time this book right here is open and it's Amen. read from, Amen. you're getting blessed. That's right. Amen. 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 You're getting a blessing. Yes, and I want you to consider tonight how great a privilege. Amen. It's a privilege Amen. 
to be in the house of God tonight. It's a privilege to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ tonight. It's a privilege for me to stand here and be able to minister the gospel. Amen. It's a privilege that we have nice pews. We have air conditioning. We have lights. Because there's a lot of places that don't have them. Right. Amen. Amen. Right. So we need to consider our way of life Amen. as far as coming to the house of God and doing our part. Amen. 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 Verse 5. And verily they that are of the sons of Levi who receive the office of the priesthood have a commandment to take tithes of the people according to the law. That is of their brethren, though they come out of the loins of Abraham. But he whose descent is not counted from them received tithes of Abraham and blessed him that had the promises. And without all contradiction, the less is blessed of the better. So here he's talking about the tribe of Levi who was to in the future be the priesthood. Amen. Mm -hmm. And they was to collect the tithes of the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. Amen. And uh, that was how they ate. Come on, y'all. Yes. They, they provided for the priesthood. Now, this wasn't just ten preachers in a conference somewhere. This was a whole tribe of people. That's right. Amen. There was twelve tribes. The other eleven took care of the twelve as they blessed them with the duties from the Lord. Amen. So, you see, that's what he's talking about here according to the law and that they come from Abraham. It says, whose descent is not counted from them, received tithes of Abraham and blessed him that had the promises. So, Abraham blessed the man of God, and the law hadn't even been given yet. Amen. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So the Lord was establishing his covenant Hallelujah. with Abraham and the tribe of Israel before the law was ever mentioned. That's right. You see what it's showing here? It's a foreshadowing of things to come. Mm -hmm. Now we see that not only in the Word of God, but in everyday life. You can look at the signs, you can look at things around, and everything is pointing to something, right? Mm -hmm. We see the world, and everybody's everybody's voice is saying this, something's getting ready to happen. Mm -hmm. Whether you're saved or you're not mm -hmm. saved, mm -hmm. everybody's mm -hmm. saying the same thing. Something's getting ready to happen, and it can't stay like this. Amen. How many people have you heard say that? Yes. I mean, saved, unsaved, it doesn't matter what kind of walk of life. That's what they're saying. Something is getting ready to happen. And I want to tell you what's getting ready to happen. Because I know what's getting ready to happen. Amen. It, it might not be a stock market crash, and we was talking about electric cars and all these other things. I'll tell you what's getting ready to happen. There's going to be a sound that wakes up the That's dead, right. hallelujah, and those that remain are going to meet him in the air. And I want you to know that one world is going to meet another world. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. And, and I want you to think about this tonight. When worlds collide, hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to preach that as a message, and I've been trying to study on it. But that's what's going to happen. That's the right. kingdom of yes. God, the world that they're living in in the heavenly realms yes. is going to meet our world, yes. and the spiritual and the carnal is going to meet together. Yes. Come on, y'all. Yes. And something's going to happen. Yes. Something's going to happen. The world don't know what it is. They're looking for carnal things and things in the news and watching CNN and Fox News. But I'm going to tell you where I'm looking in the cloud. Yes. Glory yes. be to God. Yes. Something's getting ready to happen. Our redemption draws now. Yes. That's what's getting ready to take place. Yes. Glory be to God. That gets me fired up, y'all. Amen. Amen. It says, Bless him that had the promises, and without all contradiction, the less is blessed of the better. Amen? Amen. All right, now let's go to A. 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 Let's go to 8. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. I done, got, I done got fired up, all right? <laughs> and here men that die receive tithes, but there he receiveth them, of whom it is witness that he liveth. And as I made so say, Levi also who received tithes, paid tithes in Abraham. All right, and I'm going to read one more verse right there. For he was yet in the loins of his father when Melchizedek met him. So it's talking about Abraham paid his tithes to the priest 
and it was showing a blessing to his lineage, amen, amen. in the future. So, just like it says that the righteous seed shall never beg bread, amen? amen. All right, tonight I want you to know that I'm a seed of the righteous, okay? My dad preaches the word of God, lives his life according to the word, amen? My granny and my grandmother, they preached all their life, still preaching, hallelujah, glory be to God. And because they are righteous people, I'm going to be blessed, amen? 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 I'm going to ride in on the coattail of their blessings because they were men and women of God. Amen. I live my life by the word of God. Amen. Amen. So that boy right there that's sitting, Hallelujah. he is blessed. He'll never beg bread. Amen. 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 Because of his father. Yes. Come on, y'all. Right. Glory be to God. Do you see what I'm saying here tonight? Amen. So through Abraham paying his tithes and blessing the man of God and living his life as a righteous man, he had faith in God and it was called unto him as to right righteousness. Right. Hallelujah. So tonight, I'm blessed. My seed's going to be blessed. Yes. My children's Hallelujah. blessed. My children's children's going to be blessed. And Amen. my children's 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 going to be blessed. Hallelujah. All the way down to the fourth and fifth generation. Glory yeah. be to God because... The mercies of God is flowing in my life. That's right. Glory. Thank you, Lord. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Yes. Yes. That's Thank good tonight. You, yes. Yes. It's good tonight. It's real good. It's always talking about unto the fourth generation. Yes. I want you to know tonight that he is a fourth generation in my family. Yes. And I just speak and prophesy over him in the name of Jesus. He's going to be a man of God. That's right. Amen. Amen. Yes. We have to speak over people and prophesy over yes. them yes. and say, hey, He's going to preach the word of God. He's going to be blessed in the name of Jesus. He's going to be smart and wise and knowledgeable in all things Amen. pertaining to the spirit. He's going to win souls. Yes. Glory be to God. He's going to be filled with the spirit of God. Amen. 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 Glory. And we need to proclaim those things over our sons and daughters. Hallelujah. Over our mamas and daddies. Amen. Over our churches and our pastors. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Glory. Glory. Now you say, how'd you get all of that out of that little bit right there? It's because we're blessed. Amen. Yeah, yes. You know, just like there's generational curses, yes. you know, alcoholics, yes. you know, most of the time their children are alcoholics. Amen. 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 It, it comes down and goes down through the lineage. Yep. Amen. But we can break those lineages in our family and we can receive new DNA in who we are. Glory be to God because of what Jesus done on the cross. Glory, glory, glory. So tonight, I'm not a drunk. I'm not a drug addict. I am not a fornicator. Glory be to God. I am a man of God who is righteous through the blood of Jesus and my seed's going to be blessed because of it. Glory be to God. All right. If therefore perfection were by the Levitical priesthood, for under it the people received the law, what further need was there that another priest should rise after the order of Melchizedek and not be called after the order of Aaron? For the priesthood being changed, there is made of necessity a change also of the law. All right, so we know that the law come before the Levites, the Levitical priesthood not before the Levites, but the Levitical priesthood didn't take control over the temple and the things of God till after the law was given. Amen. So I don't want you to get confused right there and think that the priesthood was before, amen, the law. The law came on Mount Sinai to Moses, and then he formed the priesthood according to the law. Amen. And then it says, if therefore perfection were by the Levitical priesthood, what further need was there that another priest should rise after the order of Melchizedek? Amen? Amen. All right, so number one, Melchizedek, we have no, we have no record of where he come from or how he died. Amen? Amen. So he was ever living there as far as we know. Amen? Now, I'm not saying that he lived forever. Just this is kind of a parallel there. And it says, what further need was there that another priest should arise? 
Okay, so I want you to know that the Levites and the priesthood was a good thing. Amen. But it was faulty. Yes, it was. Yeah. Amen. Because even the priests couldn't live up to the standard. No. Amen? Amen. That's why the priest sacrificed for themselves before they sacrificed for the people. That's right. Amen? Come on, y'all. And Amen. we're going to get into that a little bit. So, we know that the, the priesthood and the law couldn't do what Jesus came to do. Amen? Amen. Jesus made it spiritual. Jesus made it personal. Jesus made it, and he come in and ripped the veil, and now we have access to the Father through him and his blood applied. So we know that through this are we, we made perfect. Amen. If I said that, I don't know if I said that good enough. Whatever, we're going on. Amen. Amen. For the priesthood being changed, there is made of necessity a change also of the law. It was a necessity that Jesus come and die in the flesh. That's right. It was a necessity. It had to happen. Amen. 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 Because there was no power in these animal sacrifices. Amen. That's right. Amen. Yes, it was to atone them for their sin, but it was a replica. It couldn't do. It didn't have the power that the, the blood of Jesus had. Amen. That's you right. can't take a, a ram's blood or an ox's blood and, and compare it to what Jesus had because his blood was holy. Glory be to God. And when he died and that blood flowed on the tree, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That did something that a priest couldn't do. That did something that the high priest himself couldn't do. Amen. He couldn't do it. And Jesus didn't have to make sacrifice on his own accord because he was perfect. Glory. For he of whom these things are spoken pertaineth to another tribe of which no man gave attendance to at the altar. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. So we see Melchizedek had no lineage. He was definitely not a Levite. Amen. But he was still a priest of the Most High God. That's right. You see what I'm saying? Come on, church. Amen. And then we have Jesus, who was not a Levite. He come out of the tribe of Judah. Yeah. He had nothing to do with the Levitical priesthood. That's right. Amen. He just popped up on the scene. Come on, y'all. Thirty years old. Glory. Amen. Glory. And was made priest. He was a priest. Amen. Come on. Yes. And then he died, and he became our high priest. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Yes, yes he did. Yeah, man. That's that's. that's pertaining to another trial. All right. And it and it is yet far more evident for that after the similitude of Melchizedek there ariseth another priest who is made not after the law of a carnal commandment but after the power of an endless life. Amen. 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 Not after the law of a carnal commandment. See the Jews they followed the law because it's what it said in the law. Amen. Amen. That's right. They read the law and it said it, so they lived as that standard. But tonight, the law is written in my heart. Amen. Come on. Amen. He said he'd write it in your heart with fire. Glory be to God. So tonight, as I stand here, I've got the law and it's written inside, and I don't do certain things and I live my life uh, consecrated, not because something that's written on a page somewhere, but because the living God. The living God, the living fire of God, glory be to God, is burning inside. I said it's burning inside. Glory be to God. And it only come through what Jesus Christ did. It didn't come through a carnal commandment. It come from a power of an endless life. An endless life. Hallelujah. See, a high priest, he died, and the next one would come in. And the priesthood was always changing because there was always a different priest. That's right. Come on. There was always a different priest. We read through the Old Testament and we see different priests and the priesthood and how some of them did good. And then, you know, Eli and his sons and how they did bad. And we oh, yeah. see all these things that could happen with the priest. But I want you to know that Jesus Christ won't like that. That's right, man. Come on, he come. He lived a sinless life oh, as a perfect oh, lamb. Let his blood flow. 
throw on the tree as a sacrifice, as an altar for our sin. Glory be to God in an endless life. In an endless life. In an endless life. So tonight I want you to know that tomorrow it's going to be the same priest. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is going to be my Savior and my Messiah tomorrow, Todd. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. He's never changing. He never changes. Right. An endless life. He has an endless life. He was before. He was in the middle. Yeah. And he's at the end. Yeah, he is. And you know what? He goes further than the end. He goes through eternity. Hallelujah. Through eternity. An endless life. Yes. And because, this is the best part right here. Look, because he was resurrected, and has an endless life, I'm going to be resurrected. Yes. And I'm going to have an endless life. Glory. Glory. Yes, you got me. Yes. Yes. Yes, an endless life. Glory be to God. With our high priest who died for us and knows you by name. He knows you by name. Glory be. I'm pretty sure that the high priest of the Levitical priesthood didn't know everybody by name. That's right. Oh, no. They come in and it wasn't, oh, here's Todd with his sacrifice. And, and here's Brother Danny. He's got his sacrifice out. And we're going we're gonna to lay these lambs down. We're going to shed the blood. I'm sure he won't shake his hands and being real friendly because he probably didn't know all of them. But I want you to know that the word of God says that his eyes are over the righteous. Yes. That he knows the hairs on your head. Hallelujah. That he's got the stars numbered and he knows them by name. And if he knows the stars and hung them there himself and knows them by name, how much more are you? Glory be to God. Man, I want to have revival. Amen. Glory. An endless life. We got to move on or I ain't going to quit. Hallelujah. For he testified, thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Glory. For there is verily a disannulling of the commandment going before for the weakness and unprofitableness thereof. For the law made nothing perfect, but the bringing in of a better hope did. Let's read that again. For the law made nothing perfect. That's right. Nothing, nothing perfect, but the bringing in of a better hope did, yes. by which we draw nigh unto God. Amen. I want you to think about that. Think about bringing in a sacrifice every Sunday. Man, we, we'd be tired as priests, wouldn't we? It's already tiring enough trying to drag our congregations over the hill. Come on. I can imagine us. Standing up here, and here comes Nana. She's got her bullock, and we about to lay it open. Amen. Come on, church. You see what I'm saying? That's right. And and and, and all the things that come with that. Amen. Not feeling close to God. Come on. Come on. Amen. But through Jesus, it was a better hope, and we can think on Him. And not only that. We draw nigh unto God yes. ourselves. Yes. See, the priest was making atonement for their sins, and they drew nigh to God. Amen. Mm -hmm. And they always listened to what the prophet said. The prophet was close to God. Amen. The priest was close to God. And everybody else do what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Come on, church. But tonight, the veil has been rendered. Hallelujah. Hey, Hallelujah. the veil has come yes. back. Yes. That's right. From top to bottom is what Susan yes. told us the other night. Yes. From top to bottom. I'm listening. Amen. From top to bottom. <laughs> to the bottom. Yes. From top to bottom. Yes. Y'all get what I'm saying here tonight? From the top to the bottom. Where's our blessings come from? From the top to the bottom. Glory be to God. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for what you've done. We draw nigh unto God. He blesses us from the top to the bottom. Yes. Amen. Yes, he does. Man, we sing that song. And the blessings go up and the, pra the praises go up and the blessings come down. Amen. 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 God's blessing us tonight, church. Hallelujah. Draw nigh. Man, we don't have to go to the priest and offer, offer a sacrifice. We can drop down anywhere we at. Amen. 
and pray to God. Amen. Yeah. Man, I be in that mail, in that mail truck. Whoo! And that thing's got the new one got Bluetooth on it. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. So I've been Bluetoothing my phone straight to the van. It plays everything out the speakers. I want y'all to know one thing. I've been riding around. I turn it up, boy. I got that van just a rolling as loud as it'll go. Amen. I'm listening to 70s gospel music, bluegrass gospel music. Got preaching on there. I hop out the van. That stuff's playing. You can hear it all through the neighborhood. Amen. Glory be to God. I want you to know that we can draw nigh to God no matter where we are, no matter what we're doing, because the veil has been rendered up from top to bottom. From top to bottom. And that's where the blessings are coming. That's where the blessings are coming, man. You're not blessed from, from him or, or they or mama and daddy. I want you to know them blessings are coming straight from God. Straight from the Lord. Hallelujah. Every good gift coming from above. Hallelujah. Man, he's so good. He's so good. And inasmuch as not with an oath, he was made priest. For those priests were made without an oath, but this with an oath by him that said unto him, The Lord swear and will not repent. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. So Jesus was made priest through an oath, through prophecy. You see what I'm saying? They prophesied that Jesus would be the same as Melchizedek in parallel. That wasn't the same with the Levites. They had no oath. Amen? They didn't, they, it was a lineage thing. Amen. They didn't just come in and get, get ordained and say, well, I'm the priest now. Amen? It was a family ordeal. But Jesus came in from a whole different tribe. Amen? Amen. Come on, y'all. Amen. Yes, Amen? And he had an oath from the Lord. Amen. Come on. Come on. Right. Don't stop on me now. Come on. Come on. He had an oath from God to be God in the flesh, to die for our sins, and to be ascended on the right hand. Glory forever with an oath. All right. By, by so much was Jesus made a surety of a better testament. Jesus made a surety. Yes. Jesus made a surety. Amen. Jesus made a surety. You know what that is? That's a guarantee. Amen. I said that's a guarantee. Yes, it is. You ever went to the store? You know, you go to Walmart, you buy an appliance. You get to the cash register and you're paying for that that appliance. And then they say, well, do you want the guarantee? Mm -hmm. And you got to pay a little extra for that guarantee. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. And then you take it home, and if something gets broke, you just take it on back up to Walmart and be like, hey, look, I paid for the guarantee. Mm -hmm. Come right. on, y'all. Right. I paid a little extra for the guarantee. That's right. Here's my mess, and I want you to fix it or replace it. Hallelujah. <laughs> Come on. That's right. Come on. Amen. Well, I want y'all to know that I showed up at the cash register. <laughs> Glory be to God. And the guarantee had already been paid for. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And I took the gift of, of salvation and I walked out of the store with it. Glory be to God. And if something happens and it gets broke, if something happens and I mess up, if something happens and I leave it on the side and it gets rained on, come on. If something happens, I'm going to go right back to the throne and say, Here, Lord, be simple to you. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Man, I got a guarantee tonight. I got a guarantee. Salvation is mine through the blood of Jesus Christ. Heaven everlasting is my reward. Glory be to God. Yes, Lord. Yeah, I stole that line from a movie. Glory be to God. Woo! Glory! Glory! I got a guarantee tonight. Ain't nothing like having a guarantee, man. Ain't nothing like it. No, you ain't got to worry about it. Like Glory! Glory! An endless guarantee. Man, 
If I don't give you some shout in your hoot, I don't know what's wrong with you. Woo! Come on, y'all. Man, a surety of a better testament. And they truly were many priests because they were not suffered, it, suffered to continue by reason of death. By this man, because he continues ever having unchangeable priesthood. And I hit in on that a little bit earlier. The priest died, and a new priest come in. Well, our priest died, and he's still the same priest. Amen. Glory. Glory. Our Savior died, and we didn't change priests right. because his blood is still powerful tonight. Glory. Come on, and he's never going to die. Unchangeable. Tomorrow when we wake up, Jesus Christ is still going to be God. That's right. Amen. 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 The following day, no matter what the world says, no matter what or who tries to come in and change what the truth is, He's still going to be God. He's still going to be God. He's still going to be God. He's God over the righteous and the heathen. That's right. Amen. Glory. 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 Just because you don't believe in it don't mean that he ain't your God. That's right. Amen. Amen. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. I could go somewhere with that. Yes. Amen. Amen. Everybody, look. Amen. Trump got elected. He said, don't do it. Amen. Trump got elected. Everybody got on Facebook. He's not my president. <laughs> Come on. Didn't you see it? Didn't you see it? Biden got in the house. Then everybody on the other side that said they wasn't going to do that, said they was all acting like some pansies, guess what they was on there doing? He ain't not my president. <laughs> Biden ain't my president. Trump ain't my president. Come on. Tonight I want you to know one thing. It don't matter who's in the White House, God's on the throne. And His kingdom ain't never changing. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. He's never going to change. His values will never change. His promises will never change. And most of all, His truth will never change. Glory be to God, man. Hallelujah. Wherefore he is able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. Now, preachers like that verse right there. We, we quote it all the time. Oh, yes. Amen. He's on the right hand of the Father. He's making intercession for us. He's on the right hand of the Father. He's making intercession for us. How many times have you heard us say that? Susan said it. I said it. Danny said it. We've all said it. Amen. Amen. But I want you to see what it says. Also to save them to the uttermost yes. that come unto God by Him. Now in our world that we're living in, they're preaching that there's many ways to God. Yeah. Amen. I was coming up from Walmart today. And I don't know if y'all seen it, but they got a big billboard over here. And it's got a rainbow flag. Mm -hmm. And then on, on the rainbow flag it says... Uh, Love thy neighbor and got the Matthew verse written under it. Amen? Amen. Now, you, we all know that that's promoting Pride Month. Yes. Come on, church. Right. So now we're taking God's word and sticking it to mm -hmm. sin that's right. and saying that that's all right. That's right. Amen? That's right. Amen? Amen? Come on, y'all. Right. And that's Amen. the world we live in today. Right. But I want you to know one thing. God is able to save unto the uttermost. I said the uttermost. I said the uttermost. Glory be to God. I don't care if you're gay. I don't care if you're lesbian. I don't care if you're smoking crack. Come on, church. He's able to save us. And he'll bring you out. And he'll change your life. And he'll make everything new. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. He'll be your God. And you'll be his people. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. He'll bring us out of the darkness into the marvelous light. Yes. Glory. He'll take that veil that's over the world's eyes and he'll take it away just like those scales Amen. fell off of Paul. Yes. Come on. Yes. And he'll see a brand new light. Yes. And that's the hope for every sinner. That's the hope for every man or woman that is lost and believing a lie, especially in our society. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. For such a high priest became us 
who is holy, harmless, undefiled, separate from sinners, and made higher than the heavens. That's the characteristics of Jesus. That's right. Amen. It's not all love. Amen? Amen. Amen. You got to watch a preacher that stands up there and preaches all love, 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 love. Yes, he loves us. But he's also holy. Amen. And his love can't come in between his holiness. Amen. And his holiness can't come in between his love. Do you see what I'm getting That's at right. here? Amen. He's harmless, but he's holy. That's right. Amen? You see it says holy first. He's undefiled because he's holy. Amen. Amen. He's separate from sinners because he's holy. That's right. Amen. He's made higher because he's holy. Yes. It's holiness that separates the church yes. from the world. Amen. That's right. And it's time we live our lives holy. Yes. Now the two last verses and I'm going to quit. Who needeth not daily as those high priests to offer up sacrifice first of his own sins and then for the people's for this he did once when he offered up himself. The priests of old times offered up an animal for their sins. Our God offered himself Amen. for you. Thank Glory you. be to God. For the law maketh men high priests which have infirmity, but the word of the oath which was since the law maketh the Son who is consecrated forevermore. See, the priest, they would sin and have to to take consecration and, and be washed in the water all over again, have to give a sacrifice for sin all over again. Amen. But Jesus died once. He gave himself one, yes, time, one time, and he stays consecrated. Hallelujah. There's no need for him to offer any other sacrifice because it's done, and he's holy. That's right. He lives holy. He stays holy. He is holiness. Yes. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Woo. So tonight... I just want you to be blessed. Amen. And I want to pray a blessing over you tonight. And as we close, I want to get everybody to stand up. And uh, y'all pray too. And I just want to pray a blessing over our pastors. Amen. Yes. Over Amen. our congregation. Amen. Over Amen. the Amen. leaders in the church. Thank over the song Lord. leaders. Thank over all the musicians. Come on, Thank church. Lord. Just pray a blessing yes. over yes. your church. Yes. Prophesy. Declare. Yes. Come on. Declare. Yes. Edify the yes. church tonight. And let's have a good time. All right. Lord, I thank you for the night that you have prepared for this church. I thank you for this word that was for us, Lord. Glory be to God. We are happy tonight, uh, and we are joyful, and we are exceedingly abundantly blessed uh, because you are ever living for us uh, and make intercession, Lord. You're holy and undefiled, and we thank you for it. And Lord God, right now, in the name of Jesus, I speak over this church. Uh, I speak over the atmosphere. I speak over the pastors. I speak over the deacons, the deaconesses. Lord, I speak over over the musicians and the song leaders. I speak over the congregation that, Lord God, they would be holy people, that they would be blessed people, that, Lord God, they would win souls, Lord, that they would be on fire like never before, that a, a, a fire would just be kindled and never go out. And, Lord, when it gets down to coals, I pray that you would stir it, Lord. Stir it and blow on it, Father, in the name of Jesus, the breath of life. I pray, Lord God, that great and mighty things would come from this house uh, yes. in the name of Jesus yes. in the name of Jesus uh, and we rebuke every spirit that's against this house right now that's against the leadership that's yes. against the congregation uh, we come against it by the blood yes. hallelujah yes. and we take authority over the enemy tonight uh, and we take authority over the enemy tonight uh, and we know uh, that we have it because of you and the blessings that you've given us. You, now, Lord God, I just thank you tonight. Thank you, I glorify you and I lift you up and I give you all the praise yes, that yes, no yes. flesh and no man will get the glory, but it all be yours. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. amen.